ladies and gentlemen, this is Jewel Smith. And it's Try It Tuesday. Today I am playing Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink. Try It Tuesday means it's a game I've never played before. I know nothing about it other than it is a steampunk style game. And I guess it's kind of an action puzzler game. I'm not sure if it's going to be like more of a story game or more of a puzzle game. If we're going to have to do any fighting. I have no idea what to expect. But this game is $9.99 on PlayStation. And I thought I would check it out. Rated T for Teens. Let's press X to start. Auto save feature? Sure. Unlock full game? No. Not yet. Right now I am playing the demo of the game. Options. What are our options? Music volume. Yes, it seems very loud. I'm gonna turn that down a bit. Controls. Okay. New game. Evangeline's story. Ooh, look at there's an airship. We'll go with that. Uh, I guess... Okay, let's see. Hidden object scenes. Oh, there's hidden object scenes. Uh, hint recharge time, 30 seconds. Sure. <laughs> My name is Evangeline Glass. I'm an intelligence special agent. A few days ago, I received a letter from my mentor, Dr. Ambrose Inc. He asked me to arrive at Hawkvalt as soon as I could. Ink is like a father to me. He's the only family I have left. I need to find Ink. I think he may be in danger. I can't see much, but I think I'm in the right place. Okay. Interact with the X button. Got it. Sure. Okay. It's so crowded. Is that ink on the stairs? Meet with Ink. Ink summoned me to Hawkwald. I should meet with him in the Gear Wheel Inn. Oh, how appropriately steampunk. Hey! This Popal Hughes has joined me in the chat room. Said book arrived this morning. Oh, cool! Yes! I was giving away a copy of the book 1000 Steampunk Creations for the month of Bioshocktober because there are some steampunk and diesel punk elements in the Bioshock games that I've been playing. And now here I am playing another steampunk sort of game. Yes! Uh, when I'm not doing video games on YouTube, I am also an author and a jewelry designer and I have been featured in a few steampunk books and magazines. Not doing much of the steampunk thing anymore. I'm gonna grab that. But I still like it. I still enjoy it. And yes, I was featured in that book. <laughs> the 1000 Steampunk Creations book that I was giving away. I had a couple of pictures in there. Well, I'm glad it got to you across the pond. That was very fast. My gosh, sometimes when I send things over to the UK, it takes like months to get, to get there. Of course, it's even worse in Canada. I've had things take like three or four months to get to Canada. 
I guess they make sure and search everything very carefully at the borders. Baba declared general engineer. I don't know whether to be proud or scared. I, I am playing Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink. And this seems to be a basic point and click sort of adventure game. Of which there are many for PC, but this one is also available on PlayStation 4. Interact? Sure. Can I interact with the garlic? No, just the chimes. Got it. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. <laughs> okay. Oh, I guess they couldn't bother paying a voice actor to say his line. You came in that steam carriage? Classy, my dear. Really classy. Let's talk later, okay? Okay. Yeah, this is the guy I'm supposed to be talking to. He has summoned me here. Ooh, what's this? Oh, what's that? Zoom? Ruler with an iron fist. His family's castle is here in Hochwald. Okay. All right, let's go talk to Professor Ink. Evangeline, it's so good to see you. Is he a professor or a doctor? I can't remember. Not followed, my dear. Good, good. Let's retire to my room. Away from hey the now. of prying eyes. Wait a minute there, old man. Oh, doctor. Okay, he's a doctor. My follow Dr. Ink. Way. Just follow me. Those trumpets again. I'm dancing. On top of the law, I dropped my key. Uh, use hint. No, I don't want to use a hint. What, why is this a problem? Uh, just pick up your dang key. Oh, it's it's a tutorial. Okay, I have to interact. Hey, Master Shot! Says, so, hi, I love you, your videos. Oh, hearts and thumbs up. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much! Hey, yeah, you get to be here during a live stream. Usually when I'm doing the Bioshock videos, I have to upload them as video clips. Oh, why am I, like, focused right on his crotch there? That's inappropriate. Let me move my, my magnifying glass here. Fine, I'll use a hint. Yes, it's telling me the gloves are important. Yeah, this is just a standard point and click kind of game. Use item, okay. Select item. There we go, okay. Oh, I see it fell in the wooden floor, okay. Excellent. There you go, Dr. Ink. Evangeline, you remember my crow, Matthew, don't you? Well, he and I... Wait, what's this? I have a bad feeling... Does that mean there's a dinosaur coming? Oh, dang. Save Matthew! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, he got sucked head. right through the wall. What happened here? Where's Ink? Uh, he disappeared. Grab the bug. Sparkles indicate a hidden object scene. Oh, awesome. Okay, so what have we got going on here? Here's Sparkles. Walk up. Walk up? Why would I want to walk up on this? Right? Yeah, I get it. There's there's uh, Matthew right there. And there's a bug. Okay. Oh, this is all part of the tutorial, so i got to do what they're telling me to do. Okay. I keep trying to do my own thing here, and I, I'm forgetting that there's a tutorial. Okay. Oh, walk up to it. I get it. Not walk up the thing, like walk on it. Okay. Find the objects listed below. Here is one. 
Ink Steambug's collection. Steambug. These are damaged beyond repair. Oh, they're so pretty. Lots of them escaped into the blizzard. I might find them later. Sadly, these steam bugs are badly damaged. Better to leave them here. No, I don't want to leave them here, though. They're really cool. You know, there are people who make bugs and other animals out of watch parts online. If you guys haven't seen that, you should check it out. It's so cool. You can look on places like Etsy. There's people that sell them on Etsy, and but they also have their own websites and stuff. Look for like steampunk insects and clockwork animals and stuff like that. It's really cool. Yeah, okay, I get it. I gotta find the parts though. All right, what parts am I looking for here? There we go. Yeah, so it is a little hidden object game. Now this kind of reminds me of, I used to play a lot of these years and years ago. Oh my gosh, I want to say like maybe 10 years ago or so, before I was playing the PS3 or the PS4 very much. Before I was addicted to games like Bioshock and Skyrim <laughs> and Fallout. Um, I used to play these kind of games on the PC. Nope, that's not a thing. Oh, that's one. I would play Azada and Mystery Case Files and Dream Chronicles. Oh, I love those kind of games. Nope, that's not a thing. No. So what am I looking for here? It's kind of hard to tell what it is exactly they want me to find. I mean, I guess they want me to find things that look like this, but it's kind of hard to see where that is. Here. I'm getting confused because there's these, like, interact. I can interact with the bugs. But I don't think that's what they want me to find. Okay, there's one. There's one. Alright, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. <gasps> it looks like there's a word behind here. Do you see that? It looks like a word. <gasps> He's moving his wings. Amber something Zeus. Ambrosius, maybe? No, that's not a thing. Okay. I can't tell what I've found and what I haven't found. I think this is something here, right? Yep. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm making things. That's cool. Oh, and here. There we go. Making that. And I need to find something that looks like this. No. I don't know if there's like actually a fail state in this game. Like if I don't find the right pieces then I then I lose and have to start over I don't I don't know all right we're still looking for another wing how are you guys doing today <laughs> master shots asking me how are you doing today I'm good I'm really good thank you uh, not sure what I'm I guess a wing is that what I'm still looking for a wing is this a wing? Yeah, it is a wing. Oh. Okay, I see. They're kind of fading out as I find them. I got it. I got it. Oh my gosh, yeah. And I've also recently been playing on my phone. I've been playing this game. I can't remember what it's called. I call it Darkwood because that's the name of the town where the game takes place. But I think it's called something else. Oh, I love that game. It's, it's a really interesting puzzler game that's also got a steampunk theme and there's some um, sort of like Candy Crush type games in it there's also some sort of like a hidden object games and there's other things that it's all incorporated together and it's like there's this storyline about this Victorian town that's been like invaded by monsters and you're called the seeker and you're supposed to be trying to find uh, ways to get rid of the monsters and stuff. It's really cool. The weather's calmed down. I can explore the village now. You have found a useful item. A crow wing. Well done. Yeah, good for me. Yeah, I mean, there is an actual video game called Darkwood. 
And that's not the one that... It, that's a horror game. That's not the one I'm talking about. This is, uh... Like a, uh, Victorian... Mobile game. Oh, I think it's called Seeker's Notes. Yeah, there it is. I'm looking it up. Seeker's Notes. It's a really cool game. It's free if you have a, uh, a phone. I downloaded it for free. It's awesome. Okay. Let's zoom That's in on Matthew. this. Or what's left of him. Alright, we're going to fix his wing. There we go. What is this? Matthew needs a spring-loaded power cube to work, of course. Don't we all need spring-loaded power cubes? I could charge a cube with a special device, but where is it? Oh, it's showing me. Okay, I charge it up. And I put it in Matthew. Ink must keep this device among his things. With a charged cube, Matthew is ready to go. He can help me retrieve out of reach items. Oh, interesting. I used to play fetch with him when I was little. Huh. He works a bit like a camera. And can project recorded movies. Well, he can just do everything, can't he? He's like a smartphone, only in a bird shape. He responds to spoken commands, can record voice messages. He's a bit like a mechanical parrot. All right. Oh, so this is like a puzzle game. Like I was playing, remember I was playing Adventure Time, Finn and Jake Investigations last week? And that was a kid's game, so the puzzles were very simple. But you had to go through the environment and find objects and put them together and try to figure out how to get... It's almost like one of those room games where you have to figure out how to get out of the room by looking and searching and doing all kinds of weird things. It's kind of like that. Only this is, this is a little more complex, I assume, than Adventure Time. If I repair him, he'll show me what Ink was doing. Okay. Can we pick up this bug? Hold O to go back. Yeah, I get it. No, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna leave. Open map. Oh, select an available location to quickly travel there. Alright, so we're in the corridor. There's Ink's room. There's the gear wheel in. There's the main street. Ah, I see. And the Zeppelin landing. Ooh. Okay. Alright, but I want to go back in this... Can I take that? Give me the bug. Give me the bug. An enigmatic picture. How is it an enigmatic picture? I want to go back in the room, please. I want to search around. That crooked painting is the least of my worries now. It doesn't look crooked. There we go. We got the bug. What's this? December 20th. All evidence points to Hochwald. I need to investigate this personally. Ink was investigating the earthquakes. Is that why he was captured? Okay. Ooh, something else up here. Sparkling. Just like in Bioshock. <laughs> Things that you're supposed to interact with will sparkle. Repair the dollhouse is a payment for my stay. Ink hid something by the gate. I should check it out. Secure evidence I collected in the other room. Pack 
take your things as soon as Evangeline arrives. Retrieve the toolbox hidden by the gate. Ah, okay. Oop. What a mess. Yes, it is. Anything else we can interact with here? Ooh. At least the weather has improved. Oh, that's called that's considered an improvement. My goodness. Okay. So now what do we do? Oh, back into the hallway. Got it. I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's the doll? I bet that goes on the dollhouse. <gasps> There's a dollhouse right there. Let's walk up to it. And let's use this on the dollhouse. Hey! Maybe we have to put this all back together as well. I still need two missing pieces to activate the dollhouse. Alright. Anything else in here? There was a bug over here. Come here, buggy. There we go. All right, we need to get into this room. But I don't think we have, yeah, we don't have a key yet. Okay. Where is everyone? Oh, <gasps> everyone disappeared. What the heck, kitty cat? The cat isn't interested in helping me because it's a cat. <laughs> Interesting. Empty shelves. Seems like some kind of prohibition law is in place. We can go up there. Oh, everyone's outside. What the heck? Ever since Barber returned, nothing but disaster before Sockwold. Robust over Keen Waylanders joined us in the chat room. <laughs> Are you playing Skyrim right now? Welcome to Hochland, the safest place in all of Gotland until recently. Ever since the general engineer returned. Aren't you a little cold? Evangeline With that low cut Glass. outfit there, lady? It's just as Mr. Ink said, he gave me this for you. Gonna get it. You're gonna get a sore throat. Oh, that goes on the dollhouse. He was taken. Poor oh, man. He was working on our dollhouse as a payment. It is not safe here. Let's talk later, okay? Sure. Well, I will fix your dollhouse, lady. I am playing Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink for Try It Tuesday. This is available on PlayStation 4 for only $9.99. I don't know what the price is for it on Steam, but it is also available on Steam. And it's one of those little, you know, kind of story puzzle adventure kind of games. I guess I'm some kind of detective and I need to figure out what's going on. But what's interesting about this is it's all very steampunk. Modern gas lamp for such a remote mountain town. Oh, look, there's the Zeppelin. Oh, that looks cool. And there's the gate where he hid his tools. Let's go down there. <gasps> there we go. Find and use. Well, there's the pocket watch. Now, what is this? Oh, hello there. Whoa! Hello, birdie! The master thief among birds, the magpie. What is it holding in its claws? There's something below the snow. I'm not touching that thorny bush. Huh. Nope, I don't have a bug. I've been picking up bugs right and left, but apparently not the right bug. 
An inkwell shaped slot. This is definitely the doctor's toolbox. A crow silhouette. Is that supposed to depict Matthew? Ink's obsessed with his steam bugs. Okay. That brick gives a hollow sound when knocked upon. I don't think that's going to do it. So I've, maybe I've got to go find a knife. I wonder if it's going to be around here somewhere. Soldier, ensure your uniform is complete. Ooh, I wonder if I have to dress up like a soldier in order to sneak through here. Forge steel gate. It could stop an avalanche. Really? <gasps> oh, look it! There's a zeppelin flying by. There's an airship. Steampunk airship flying by. <gasps> There's another bug. <gasps> Ooh. Nope, that's not going to get me there. An old padlock. I could open it with the proper tools. Uh huh. There's anything else up here for me to find. All right, let's go back. Oh, what is this? Useless without some kind of shaft. Okay, what is this? Oh, ooh, hello. What did I just do? Oh, there's a bug. Oh wow, that was cool. So we gotta find a, a shaft, huh? Oh, this is awesome! This is! This is just like the Jake and Finn game. <laughs> the Adventure Time game, only more complicated. I love it. Alright, let's go to the Zeppelin. <gasps> There's another bug. I will grab the buggy. This is 56. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I mistook what you said. Oh, Ayla and Desdemona. Okay. <laughs> Overboss is saying that he's uh, watching TV. I just, I saw Ayla and I thought of Skyrim. But yes, Ayla and Desdemona. Claudia Christian. Yeah, Babylon 5. Awesome. <gasps> oh no, you're freezing because your heat broke. Oh my gosh. How cold is it there? You're in Scotland, right? <gasps> Matthew has all the answers. That's Ink's writing. Did they take him somewhere? <gasps> oh, dang. What's that? Like a little knob or something. I wonder if that goes back on the bird. Military supplies, but too risky to snoop around them. What? Access to civilians is forbidden. Ah, oh, forbidden. Okay. Military airship flies to the castle and back. Ooh. What is this? This guy. Oh, he looks like kind of like the creepy, steampunky, weird, supernatural dude in Hellboy. Remember that guy? You'll get nothing from me without a license. Ordnung muss sein. A license, huh? No pie, no alcohol, no chicken. Or does that mean they have pie, alcohol, and chicken? I'm not sure what that means. Sample. Is that the sample license I need to get? Right, I'm gonna have to find a license to give him, I guess. Awesome. Can I look at anything else around here? Nope, just that guy. Okay, that's fine. Alright, alright. Ooh, what's this? A soldier's jacket, but too high for me to reach. Oh, I bet I gotta fix the bird and then send the bird up there to get it. Or I could use the shovel, maybe, to grab it. We gotta figure out... Hmm. 
All right, let's go back inside the gear Oops. wheel in. Yeah, behind the bar. Oh, okay. S. Popel Hughes says the doorknob is for room two. Ah, right. Right, right, right. I was thinking we needed a key for that room, but yeah, let's go try the doorknob. Okay. That looks like a salty sea dog there. Well, this guy is sparkling, so let's talk to him. Baba, that son of a... Oh, sorry. Please excuse my language. I was just stripped of my rank for failing to carry out an inhumane order. General Engineer thinks we are all his clockwork soldiers. Has the young lady tried steam horse? It is a local drink that kicks uh, like a mule. Sadly, there is no more. I would give up my helmet for another glass. Ah, then we would get a helmet. Steam horse for a veteran, huh? Keep it down, miss. You don't know who might be eavesdropping. So much has changed here since Engineer Barber returned. Airships, masked soldiers, arrests, and let's not forget the earthquakes. War is hanging over our heads, and Barbara has some secret weapon up his sleeve. Your friend, Ink, tried to stop him, but was discovered. That's all I know. Miss, I need your help. The soldiers confiscated all my supplies. The gatekeeper took my license. It should be in his booth. Retrieve in supplies, huh? Okay. And who's the this guy? Barber boy is a oh, hot and I guess it's a lady. If you ask me. Okay. <laughs> Today's youth, uh, all steam enthusiastic punks. In my <laughs> days. Back in my day, we didn't have steampunk. Actually, we did. We didn't call it steampunk, but we definitely had it. Alright, let's put this on the dollhouse. Excellent. And try out the knob here. Thank you. I would have been spending all my time looking for a key. Hey, Counter Serum! Counter Serum joined us in the chat room. I am doing really well. How are you feeling? Oh, Overboss Dove Keen Waylander is telling me that it was just above freezing. Got my terminal on under my duvet. <laughs> yeah, it's been freezing here too, surprisingly. I'm in the southern US. I mean, it does get cold in the winter time, but I mean, I would expect it to be freezing in Scotland for sure. Oh, now I still need the key. I found the knob, but I still need the key. There is a key. Counter Serum, I'm playing Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink, which is a puzzle game, well, a puzzle adventure game, similar to the Adventure Time game I played last week. Only, you know, more complicated and adult. I don't think there's anything I can use. Right, I'm still looking. Okay. Oh, what's this? Nope. I'm looking for a stick to put, a handle to put on a shovel. Um, I'm looking for a key for a door. I'm looking for half a door for a dollhouse. And I gotta go back and get the license for this lady. And I gotta get some alcohol for this guy so I can get his helmet. Alright, let's do it. Oh, we can zoom in on this. Hey, what's this? <gasps> oh, that's the head of the birdie. That's the gear wheel in. Soldier's jacket. Right, 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 right. Anything down here. 
All right, well, let's go back here. This gate, is this the gate guard guy? No, it's not. The gate guard guy is back here. There's the gate. This is probably the gate guard booth that's got her license in it. But we got to get into that padlock to get to get it back out. I don't know where this goes. Can I not? Uh, I still haven't found the right bird. I bet the bird has got the bug that I need to open that up. But how do I get rid of the bird? I think I have to give the bird maybe some berries or something. Or do I need to find the shovel maybe to dig this up? Nope, that's not the thing to use here. All right. Well, what are we gonna do? I guess we found the bird head, so let's go back in and see if we can put that on our on Matthew. There we go. Oh, Matthew's working again. Another tremor. They're getting worse. Oh my. Okay. Oh, oh, where did we get that? I need a new energy source to get him up and running. No, but it's right there. It's it's that's that's what we need. Uh how did I get that? Inventory. R2. Oh, it's the dead. It's a dead power cube. I gotta power it up. Got it. Oh, boy. Okay. Oop, Overboss Dovahkiin says, Steampunk always makes me think of Firefly. Yes, it does! Yeah, Firefly was a very steampunk show. It kind of had that sort of uh, depending on where you were, because it was futuristic too, but it did have some elements that were like neo-Victorian. Oh, a Celtic Granny is in the chat room. I'm doing good, Celtic Granny. How are you? Oh, right. Counter Serum's going to work on some art. This game looks fun, like an old point and click. Yes! That's what I was just saying earlier. I used to play a lot of these point and click games years ago before I got into playing PS3 and PS4 games. Um, I used to play, I used to have a, a, a club membership, ooh, a game club membership to Big Fish Games. And they had lots and lots and lots of games like this. And what I had was, I, I can't remember what I paid for it. It was like $5.99 a month or something like that. Some small amount of money. But I would get one free game per month and I could pick anything that they had and I would play all different kinds of games like this. I played Azada and the sequel to Azada and I played Mystery Case Files. There were several Mystery Case File games. Those were very similar to this. They were very uh, Victorian and they had hidden object and puzzles and different things and they were all very creepy. Um, I played Dream Chronicles. That was one of my favorites. I think there were like three installments to that game. At least two maybe three and I'm trying to think what else I played a game called Nostradamus that was set in like the middle ages and I, it was all puzzly like this with hidden objects I think and stuff you had to figure out you would move through the world it's very similar to this but it was medieval and yet you were trying to solve the puzzles and find out stuff about Nostradamus or whatever oh I love games like this these point and click games yeah this is taking me way back <laughs> And there's one that I play on my phone now uh, called Seeker's Notes that's also kind of similar. Well, it, it's not like you don't really move through the world so much as you get like a little Victorian steampunk story and you solve different puzzles and play different games and things. Yeah, I, I enjoy these. I still... Okay, that crooked painting is the least of my worries. This has got to be important. There's going to be something about this later. 
All right, we've already looked at all the stuff in here. All right, we got to figure out how he's going to power up the cube. And I think what we need to power up the cube is going to be in here, but we need to find the key. And I bet you anything, the key is going to be like in this dollhouse or something. What do you guys think? Such a, such an enigmatic picture. Yeah, well... Why is it enigmatic? Anything else to do? Nope. Well, this still isn't helping us. How are we going to get this guy some alcohol? We got to get this guy some alcohol. I hope you find your friend. I'm just looking all around here. We need to get his helmet. See, and there's this uh, shovel here. That's what we need to do. Some kind of shaft. We need to find some kind of shaft. What is all this? Oh, here's our map. Okay, so here's the corridor with the dollhouse. Here's the gear wheel in. Here's the room we've been in. Here's the room we're trying to get in. Here's where we are now. Here's the gate. Ooh, there's an available action there. What does that mean? Let's go look. Oh, right, I've got this thing. That little propeller thing, whatever it is. I don't know what that... This right here. We found it inside the toolbox. That's no, not working. That brick gives a hollow sound when knocked upon. not working. And that's not working. <gasps> oh! Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? I'm gonna pick some berries and I'm gonna give the berries to the bird. There you go, birdie. <gasps> there we go. I'm gonna pick up the knife. Oh, of course. <gasps> oh no, is that a little dead bird in there? Oh, not won't work. The knife will probably work on this. Let's try that. There we go. Let's pry out this brick. Ah, we'll take the matches. Can I take more than one? And what is this? I don't smoke, but I like the smell. Scares most bugs away. Scares most bugs away. Well, now it's got some new items down here. What the heck is all this? Okay. Oh, right. You see those little marks on the end of the brick there? I bet that's where people are striking a match. Yes. So now we have a lit match. Well, where in the world are we going to use this lit match? It won't work. Try something else. Scares most bugs away. Looks like that's the bird we need to go right there. Or maybe there's something else under here. Oh, what's that? What is that? What did I just pick up? Are they feathers? Or a nest? fire. Oh, we got the little ink. There we go. 
Oh, that's the other, that's the little half of the door for the dollhouse. You found a useful item, dollhouse door. Yes, thank you. Can I interact with this anymore? No, that's it. That's all we get. All right. Let's go back to the dollhouse. Uh-oh. What's going on? The Zeppelin's taking off, huh? Oh, counter serum saying maybe the cat has the key. Could be, but every time I click on the cat, it just says this cat cannot help you. It's a cat. <laughs> Oh, hey. Yeah, it's like old times, man. Celtic Granny's in the chat room. Overboss Dova Key's in the chat room. I've missed you guys. Counter Serum saying, I love point and click games. I know a lot of people don't like them, but they're so fun to me. Oh, I agree. I agree. They are fun. Yeah, see, here's the kitty cat. See, it just says the cat's not going to help me. All right, well, let's go upstairs. Let's do what we can do, which is put the door on this dollhouse. There we go. Ah! Help the dolls complete their tasks to retrieve... Whoa, wait, what did it say? <laughs> it went away. Uh, to retrieve what ink hid inside the dollhouse. I'm, I'm reading the rest of it on the uh, the slightly lagging, because there's a little bit of latency. I've got my computer open to the chat room and the live stream so I can see it. Uh, I'm playing the game on my TV screen, but I can see the game on my laptop. And there's a little bit of latency so I can see what I miss here. Okay, so help the dolls complete their tasks. All right, let's grab the hat. Do we need to give it to that guy? Yeah, he looks like he needs a top hat. The true gentleman needs a hat and a cane. Of course he does. Interact. This token seems to depict what a doll wants. Okay. Oh, here you go, sir. Oh my god, I love this. Ooh, look at it. It lit up. I'm doing all the things. Okay, so now somebody needs flowers. That would be her. She needs flowers for the flower pot. Got it. There's a flower. Here you go. Oh, she needs two flowers. Okay. I bet this guy is going to need this bowl right here. And I bet that this mirror or whatever this is down here is going to go up here. Uh, is that a flower? Yes, it is. Here you go. Oh, seriously, you guys. If you like these kind of games, you got to you gotta check out Mystery Case Files. Mystery Case Files was the best for these kind of like weird puzzle things like this. I loved them. Mystery Case Files was steampunk, Victorian, and supernatural. And had like these weird kind of games like this. Like these little puzzle kind of things to figure out. It was really cool. Okay. Um, who's next? Okay. Uh, I think she's good to go. Okay. Right. Some kind of scrolls or something? It seems he needs blueprints for some kind of machine. Well, that's a very complicated doll there. Oh, there's the blueprints. Here you go. Are these blueprints? There you go. All right. Oh, I love this. All right, what does she need? She needs to, she needs privacy to change her clothes. Well, here we go. Is everybody happy? Oh no, he needs more stuff. Okay. He needs logs for the fire. Got it. Oh, this is awesome. I love dollhouses. I didn't really play with dollhouses when I was a kid, but my, uh, my daughter, baby Jewel Smith, she has a ginormous dollhouse. Because she's got a big collection of American Girl dolls. And so what I did is I installed these big 
Ikea shelves in her room, like these boxes. There's these Ikea um, bookshelf storage segment things, but they come in these like big white box shapes. And we didn't install the shelves in them. We left the shelves out, but we took the big white boxes and set them up in her room. And so she's got this like five room dollhouse, very much like this. Only each section, like these little squares here, are a white Ikea storage cube. And they're tall enough for American Girl dolls, which are like, I don't remember, like 18 inches tall or whatever. Um, and all their furniture and everything goes in here. So she has like a kitchen and a bedroom and a living room and a, a study room, which she sometimes turns into like a, a shop or whatever. You can see a picture of it. Oh my gosh, where did I post a picture? There's a picture over on my Facebook page, my author uh Facebook page. I think it's linked to my YouTube channel. But anyway, um, I helped her put together her dollhouse and find objects for the dollhouse and everything. And it was it was a blast. And she makes movies with her dolls, or she used to. She doesn't anymore. She's kind of outgrown it uh, now that she's a teenager. But she still has the dollhouse. She just doesn't make movies anymore. But she has a little YouTube channel. And her YouTube channel is linked to mine. It's called Lollipoppets. And if you go to my YouTube page down the side, you'll see she's listed on the side in the channels that I'm linked to. And uh, she's got little movies that she's made with her dolls. All right. Uh, we found him the wrench or whatever that is. Uh, we got to find a, looks like a hammer maybe. Am I, am I scrolling over it? I'm just not seeing it. Oh, there it is. There you go, sir. Alright, now she needs pillows. Sleepy little doll needs pillows. I got it. There's one. And there's the other one. And there's the key to room two. That's what we were looking for. Now we can get in here. <gasps> dun dun dun. Guest room two. I'm just going to check with the chat room here. I've been messing with the dollhouse. <laughs> S. Popol Hughes says, at least the cat is alive, unlike all the ones in Bioshock. <laughs> yeah. So sad in Bioshock, we keep finding dead kitties. Aww. That game, and we know why, right? Because the game is creepy. Bioshock is so creepy. No, oh, Celtic Granny saying, love the 111 kisses video. Posted it on Facebook. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad you like it. I loved making it. And of course I've loved using that baseball bat in Fallout 4. Oh, Counter Serum says that's actually really clever. Those dolls are huge. Ikea furniture is great for all sorts of things. Yeah, I got the idea online. It wasn't my own original idea. I can't take credit for that. But I had seen... I was looking around for ways to make doll houses for 18 inch dolls and some people do just use regular shelves or whatever but then I saw somebody had used these cube things and uh, so I went and got some that was an ordeal whoa arrange the tiles to form proper pictures and open the suitcase <gasps> really oh I love this oh look at the gears and the jewels and stuff oh that's so cool okay so can I swap them oh I can swap them like that okay let's do that this looks kind of like my uh, my jewelry page <laughs> Uh, my jewelry website has some design kind of like this with jewels and gears and whatnot. Oh, was I running out of time? Was I being timed? I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't realize I was... Ooh. 
What is that? What's going on? <gasps> what is that thing? <gasps> Ooh, creepy. That's almost like cyberpunk, not that? steampunk. Some kind of mechanical myriapod. Alright, so what have we got here? Interact. Ink kept that photo. So kind of him. Is that supposed to be me? Am I Evangeline and that's Dr. Ink? Oh, what is this? Dr. Ambrose Ink. ID number, blah blah blah. Elfheim citizen born, yada yada. I see that Ink was packed to leave. Yes? Ooh, mechanical myriad with built-in camera. Most certainly a spy designed by Barber. It's fast and dangerous, but I managed to capture it. That creature was Barber's spy, and now it's free. I smell trouble. Dear Evangeline, if you're reading this, something bad happened to me. I found the proof of Barber's guilt. He's a dangerous man. He must be stopped. And now you are the only one able to stop him in time. I know I can count on you. Yours, Ambrose, Inc. P.S. Take care of Matthew. Barber is behind it all. Yeah. Have we seen Barber yet? I don't remember. I don't think we have. <gasps> There's the recharge. There we go. Charge it up. Now we can get Matthew working again. Anything over here? Oh. There's something fishy about this picture, but it's unimportant. That's an actual picture in the real world. I can't remember what it's called, but isn't it... Uh, like, they think it's a... Uh, oh, I don't want to say... Is it Da Vinci? But they're not sure. It kind of looks like the woman with an ermine. Is that what it's called? But I can't get into it yet. All right. Good place to change clothes. Ah, oh, okay. This is where we're going to come to put on the soldier uniform. I get it. Lady with an ermine. Yeah, ermine or however you say that word. Yeah, counter serums. That's what I thought. Overboss Dova King Waylander says, Did you count the kisses? <laughs> yeah, I don't think... I actually did when I was making the video. I started counting up the kisses of the 111 kisses. But I got way past 111. I think there's definitely more than, uh, than 111 kisses in the actual video. But <laughs> that's just what I called it. Yeah, I was getting super excited over the, <laughs> the mods for the baseball bat. I was, wasn't I? <laughs> More like a thousand one hundred and eleven kisses, <laughs> says Counter Serum. Yeah. Oh, hello, TikTok. Yet it feels as if time is standing still here. <laughs> it is, because it's a video game. What is this? Where did that Myriapod spy run off to? Cool, I can move the curtain. All right. Just seeing if there's anything else in here for me to interact with. Okay, we're going to come back and change our clothes with that. Can't sit in the chair. I think we've gotten all we need to get out of here. Yeah. Okay, we can look at that if we want to. But yeah, we got that. Alright, let's go back. So, now what do we got? Oh, right, we gotta go in and take care of Matthew. We gotta put the cube in place. And he's all powered up. What is this? I can't wait for you anymore, Evangeline. I must find evidence on Barber. This elevator seems to lead to some kind of underground laboratory. I believe that this is the machine responsible Whoa. for all the... <gasps> oh no. Objective completed. Ink's work. 
You gonna come with me, little bird? Excellent. Oh. What the hell? What is this? <gasps> it's Ink. I have to help him. Oh my god, that Where is so is cool. Taking him. It's an automatron. Help me, Evangeline. <laughs> or an automaton, is that what it Call Matthew. Order Matthew to bring you an item. Thanks, Matthew. Together, we will finish this in no time. Mechanical lockpick. Ooh, now we can go pick the lock on the gate. The little gate guard's hut. Is that robot going to the castle? I think it is. Jump down to Main Street. Ooh. Okay, let's jump down to the main street. Oh, it's just going that. Okay, can we follow it? But well, I want to get this coat. Uh, can we use the bird? Let's use the bird. Get me the coat. Go give me that coat, Matthew. Oh, Matthew, get the dang, get the dang coat. Oh, that, Matthew, for real. All right, let's go to the gate. This got all like sci-fi quick, didn't it? Oh, now I have a stick. I can go get that shovel. So now what do I need? Stuff, 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 and stuff. All right, let's pick up another match. Let's light the match. No, can't use it there. Okay. Can I use it there? No, that won't work. What is this thing? I saw it last time we were here. No, that won't work. I don't know what that's going to be for. Oh! Okay. No. Maybe here? No. No. Huh. No. This looks like some kind of tool. Alright, so I have a lit match that apparently is not going to go out. Oh. Nope, none of that is working. Right there. Huh. Oh, of course. Part of gardening I always hated. Bugs. Oh, right, because they were saying earlier that this this makes bugs run away. Alright, we have a bug now that we can put right here. And unlock that part of the toolbox. And now we have this tool, which I guess we're going to use here. And now we're going to put that on there. And now we're going to get this. We have found wire cutters. Ooh. Okay. Something is blocking the... Uh, snow is blocking the entrance. Need to remove it. Okay, I know exactly where we need to go now. Oh, the Zeppelin's back. If I land, then maybe 
by air. Board the Zeppelin. Oh, dang. Alright, well, let's use this iron rod. And let's grab the shovel. Maybe via the hole upstairs. Ah, okay. Alright. Let's go here. Let's use the shovel. And now let's use our lock picking tool. Uh huh. Let's grab that. Some kind of papers. Oh, yeah, let's cut that. What's in there? Oh, the pants! We found some pants! So we can get a helmet and some pants and a coat. Not sure where to get the helmet, though. We gotta find some alcohol to give that deal. Oh, I bet when we go tell the lady we fixed the dollhouse, maybe she'll give us some... Uh, <laughs> the gate didn't withstand an avalanche, but it did save my life. Okay, maybe she'll give us some alcohol to give the dude. All right, let's go in. I have no idea how long. I'm playing the demo of this game. I didn't actually buy the full game outright. I hope you find your friend. Uh, yeah, that's what. Oh wait, I gotta go get her stuff. Okay. Let's go get our stuff. I think it's over here. The Zeppelin place. Yep, he's glowing. Let's go talk to him. It seems legit. Take it and leave my sight. Okay, got it. Sure. Alright, let's go take this back to the lady. The gear wheel in. Oh, Master Shot's asking, how long are you going to be on for Jewel Smith? I'm not sure. However long this demo lasts, I have no idea. I have no idea how long the demo will last. Thank you. All your drinks are on the house. Feel free to mix yourself one. Oh, nice. Oh, dang. Okay, puzzles. To make a steam horse drink. Wait, what did it say? Dang it, now I gotta watch the, uh, measure the right amount of each colored liquid. Oh, okay. Steam horse drink. We need five red, two blue, and one yellow. Okay, well, five red should be easy enough. All right, and we need two blue. Okay. All right, that gives us... See, I can hear the tick talking like I'm running out of time. Do I only have a certain amount of time to do this? Okay. And then one yellow. Oh dang! Well, how do I how do I mix one yellow? Hmm. If I pour it in there, and I pour it in there, then I only have two left. And if I pour... Well, let me see here. Oh, this is a true puzzle. I gotta figure out how to do this. If I pour it in here... Okay, so I have two there. Um... Hang on, hang on. Let's 
So now I have four in this glass and three in here. Dump this out. Pour three in there. Now I have one. There we go. All right, we got a steam horse for the dude. I would give up my helmet for another glass. There you I go. I don't believe it. Steam horse. I said I would give up my helmet okay. and I would keep my word. Overboss is going to bed. Good night, Overboss, Dover King Waylander. Thanks for stopping by. Stay warm. <laughs> Stay warm and toasty. I hope you get your heat fixed soon. <laughs> Counter Serum says, dramatic drink mixing music. <laughs> yes, it was. All right, we have a helmet. Now, upstairs. I think we've got to reach through. That damn oh, worm dang. took a picture of me. It'll expose my plan. What can we do about him, Matthew? Is Matthew gonna go grab him? Ah! Uh, Shoot! He escaped. We should watch out for him, Matthew. Right, we got the coat. Now we need to go into the other room. My disguise is ready. I can board the Zeppelin now. Oh, that's bold. Right. Oh, I see. And I've got a helmet on. I'm looking through the helmet. Okay. Well, let's go board the Zeppelin then. I think we've done all we can do here. to find in here? Nope. Don't mind me. Walking down the stairs in a uniform. Nobody noticed. It's fine. Alright, I don't think there's anything else we can do here. Alright, I wonder if when I get to the Zeppelin if this is going to be like the end of the demo. Because usually demos last about as long as whatever the first chapter of a game is, right? So let's see, if I get on board the Zeppelin, ooh, here I go, <gasps> there's that Myriapod or whatever it's called. Oh, it's projecting a picture of me. Oh, that's it, I was right. <laughs> Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink, your trial is over. Explore extraordinary places hidden in the clouds. Unlock full game. Well, that was a really fun demo. I think that gave us a really good feeling for what this game is. Immerse yourself in dynamic hand-drawn scenery. Yeah, the artwork wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I liked it. It looks like an interesting story, interesting puzzles. Perfect blend of extraordinary graphics and enjoyable gameplay. Yes, it was enjoyable. I liked that. It was basically like a point and click kind of game. Like you would play on PC. Ooh, unlock a bonus story and play as Dr. Ink himself. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yeah, this is, this is a lot like the games I used to play. Like I said, uh, if anyone's interested in games like this, this one is $9.99 on PlayStation. It's also available on Steam. I have no idea if it's available for Xbox or not, but I'm sure you could look it up uh, online. And you could look into games like Azada, Mystery Case Files, Dream Chronicles, all very similar in style to this game. 
That was fun, and it was a lot like the Adventure Time game that I played last week for Try It Tuesday, which was also kind of a point-and-click little solve puzzles and move through the world adventure game. But it was designed more for children in mind, and the puzzlers, the puzzles were much simpler than in this one. But uh, hey, we didn't have too much of a problem. It was it was just challenging enough to be engaging, but not so challenging as to make us get frustrated and bored. What did you guys think? <laughs> Counter Serum says I kind of want to play this now. Yeah, I kind of do. It's a lot of fun. I may play more demos of games like this because I do enjoy games like this and I really like the steampunk thing. I may not only play steampunk style types of games of course uh, for Try It Tuesday but uh, but yeah this was a cool demo. A lot of fun. Hey everybody thanks for being here. It was good to see Oberbasta of King Waylander again. It's good to see Celtic Granny again. Good to see Master Shot. Good to see S. Popol Hughes. And counter serum, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out in the chat room with me. I miss you. I miss doing live streams. I have been mostly doing uh, video uploads because Bioshock, unfortunately, Bioshock 1, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite from the Bioshock collection cannot be live streamed from PlayStation 4 to YouTube or to Twitch. So I've been uploading videos of my gameplay for that game. But I will continue doing Fallout Fridays when I live stream Fallout 4. And now that the game's gotten really interesting, now that Rose has a romanced dance, uh, I'm really looking forward to playing that. And I may play it a little more often than just on Fridays. If I get time to play during the week, on a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Sunday, something like that. I may do a little live streaming of that. I just won't know from day to day what my schedule will be like. So I can't put that on my Patreon schedule. My live streaming and video and gaming schedule is over on my Patreon page, which you can find me under the same name, Jewel Smith, on Patreon. You don't have to be a patron in order to see the schedule. And I will update the schedule as much as I can. Um... But like I said, it may not reflect my Fallout 4 live streams, other than the standard Fallout Friday live stream. Now, this Friday, November 17th, Skyrim VR is supposed to be coming out, and I haven't looked into that too much, but I do have a PSVR, and so I need to look it up on the PlayStation Store and see if I can get a copy of that. If I can get a copy of that, I will be playing that this Friday when it comes out. But I will also still do Fallout Friday because I can only stand to do VR for about maybe 45 minutes to an hour at most. And then I start getting nauseous and I get dizzy and all that. So I don't know how Skyrim is going to affect me, but I love Skyrim, so I'm willing to give it a shot. As I think most of you know, I did play Skyrim Special Edition when it came out a year ago in October. Uh, and there's over a hundred videos of that playthrough, my fourth playthrough of Skyrim on my YouTube channel. My first three playthroughs were on the PS3, so there's no record of those other than a few very short, very bad quality videos that I put on my YouTube channel years ago that I recorded by literally pointing a video camera at my TV screen. <laughs> If you want to check those out, you can see my third playthrough on PS3, a, a few minutes of it with Florine Greenheart, my Breton pure mage. But uh, anyway, other than that, yes, I may be playing Skyrim VR this Friday and doing Fallout Friday as well. You guys take care of yourselves. Until next time. <laughs>